As an alternative to the regular loop commands, one can often use an apply command instead. And different persons tend to prefer either regular loops, for loops, and so forth, or the apply commands. I prefer the ordinary loops, but it's a good thing that you often can do things in different ways. Uh, although there are a few situations where the apply commands are not efficient or they may not solve the task while a regular loop does. It has often been claimed that the apply commands are faster and more memory efficient and this might not be true. It depends. But I'll show you two of them apply and t apply. There are also s apply, l apply, m apply, r apply and v apply but you'll have to look them up if you're interested in them. The first one, the apply command, applies a certain function to each row or each column of a data set, a matrix or a data frame. And in this example we create a matrix 3 by 6, 3 um, rows and 6 columns. And then we would like to create the row sums then we can use the apply command. And the first argument to the apply command is the data set itself that we want to apply something to. Followed by a number indicating whether we're interested in rows or columns. And a one here indicates that it is row wise apply we're interested in. And then the third argument is the command that we want to apply, in this case, sum. And in return we get 51, 57, 63, which is the sum of the numbers in each row. Here instead we want to apply the mean command and do it column-wise. And we get a vector in return containing the, the mean values of each column, 2, 5, 8, and so forth. T apply is short for table apply and it's useful when you want to apply a function group wise to a variable. That is when your data set can be grouped according to one variable and you want to perform something to another variable for each of these groups. In this example we have loaded the well-known warfarin data set and we want to calculate the dose or the median dose separately for each of the three CYP2C9 star 3 genotype groups, which have the values 0, 1, and 2. And we write T apply and start by the column containing the data we want to calculate the medium of, that is the dose column, followed by a column containing the group variable CYP2C9.3 followed by the command that we would like to apply median in this case and in return we get this 0, 1, 2 that's the number of CYP2C9 star 3 alleles and then we get the median dose for those with a 0 in this column and we get the median dose for those with a 1 in this column and so forth. You are not restricted to a single grouping variable either, but you could use several of them. And in this case, we extend the grouping variable to two variables, and then we have to provide them as a list containing first the warfarin CYP2S9.3 column, comma the warfarin $sex column. And in return, we get a matrix with uh, one column for each sex and one row for each level of the CYP2C9.3 variable. So in the group females with zero alleles you have a median dose of 31.7 and in the group males with two alleles for example you have a median of 7.16. 
another way of doing this is to use the aggregate command. It does sort of the same thing as the t apply, but it returns the information in a different way and more importantly it allows you to aggregate information for several columns at once and if you have for example 1000 columns that you wish to aggregate then you would have to use the tapply command a thousand times which would not be very practical and then aggregate is a better alternative so in this case we would like to calculate the mean values of dose and INR5 for patients grouped according to sex and the CYP29.3 allele. And we start by writing aggregate followed by a subset of the data set containing the data we want to um, aggregate. So we select only those two columns. We ask for the Warframe dataset, all rows, columns, dose, and INR.5. So this part results in a smaller data frame containing only these two columns. And then the second argument is by, which indicates the um, grouping variables, and as a list, we provide the two columns we're interested in. And we also use this, the opportunity to give them names. We write sex equals warfarin dollar sex. That's not necessary, but we do it. And we uh, write sip 2 c 93 equals the column containing these values. And lastly, we provide the uh, argument fun which stands for function, and it should be in capital letters here, equals mean, meaning that we're interested in the arithmetic mean. So what we get in return is two columns, and this is the point of providing the names of the columns, because otherwise we it would have been empty here. But now we see that this is the sex column, this is the sip 2 c 93 column, and we get all combinations of these female zero, male zero, female one, male one, female two, male two. And for each subgroup here, we get the mean value of the dose and the mean value of INR.5. And as you can see, you get NA values here. And that's either because there were no such individuals or because there were NA values within the INR.5 column uh, making the uh, calculation of arithmetic mean return uh, an NA value. And if instead of these two columns you would have provided a thousand columns here, then you would have simply gotten a thousand columns in return with all the information you're interested in.